Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with another homework helper. And today we're going to talk about Lewis dot symbols. Get your periodic table, and let's start. Some assumptions I'm going to make. I'm going to assume that you know what valence electrons are. I'm going to assume that you know the octet rule, the periodic table, and electron configuration or orbital notation. If you don't know these, you know you can go to my uh, YouTube channel and find videos on all of these topics. All right, let's get started. The problem. Draw the Lewis dot symbols for the following. Lithium, uh, nitrogen, aluminum, and chlorine. Now we want to remember Lewis dot symbols are symbolic representations of the valence electrons in an element. And valence electrons are the electrons in the outer shell, usually the s and the p orbitals. The dot format uh, goes like this, and this isn't a hard fast rule. Later we're going to kind of bend the rules, but this is a good way if you're just starting to learn about uh, Lewis dot symbols and how they help you understand valence electrons. Because once you understand valence electrons, you're going to be able to understand bonding, and a lot of other things are going to make a lot more sense. So this is an important task. One, two. That's the s orbital, because remember now it's the s and the p's in the highest energy level. Three, four, and five. And why did I do that? That's the Hund's rule. Each of those orbitals must have one electron before pairing. Six and seven. There's our eight. And that fits right into the octet rule. We have eight valence electrons, or the possibility of eight valence electrons. All right, let's look at lithium. Lithium, uh, there's the symbol. Write down the symbol first. Then go to your periodic table, and you'll note there's lithium. And lithium has one valence electron. So there it is. We're done. Now, by looking at that, I also know that according to the octet rule, lithium was going to give up that one electron. And because it's willing to give up that one electron, lithium is going to end up with a plus one charge. It's positive, as most L, uh, metals are. Let's look at nitrogen. Write down the symbol, N. Find it on the periodic table. There it is. Count over. One, one, two, three, four, five. All right, there's five uh, valence electrons. So let's place them. One, two, three, four, five. Now that helps me understand uh, why nitrogen has a negative three charge. According to the octet rule, nitrogen is going to give uh, want th uh, three more electrons. And because it wants to gain three more electrons, it's going to have a negative three charge. It's also going to have a possibility of three bonds. I learned that all from the Lewis dot symbol. Let's look at another one. Aluminum. Write down the symbol. Go to the periodic table. Find aluminum. There it is. It's number 13. And look, one two, three. That means it has three valence electrons. So let's put them down. One, two, three. Ah. And this helps me to understand that aluminum is more than likely going to give up those three. It's easier to give up three than to gain uh, five. So it's going to tend to have a three plus or a three positive charge. Also, aluminum tends to have three bonds. Makes a lot of sense when I look at the Lewis dot symbol. All right, let's look at chlorine. Here's writing the symbol down. Go into the periodic table and let's find chlorine. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven valence electrons. So let's place them. One, two, three, four, five. Hun's rule six, seven. And by looking at this, I can tell that chlorine is going to gain one electron because it's easier to gain one than to lose seven. And by gaining one, it's going to have a negative one charge. And that negative one charge tells me that it's more than likely going to make one bond. All right, let's recap. You write the element symbol. You determine the valence electrons. You then draw the dots around this symbol following the pattern that was described here in the video. All right. As usual, if you have any questions, shoot an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. 
and check out mrkaziesworld.com or mrkazi.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy Island, everyone.